the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 220 Lamentations 1-2 to The Prophet of Tears, Jeremiah Seeing the destruction of Jerusalem, which was both the symbol of meeting with God and the symbol of life, Jeremiah shed tears that resembled the tears of God. First point, the 500 years of monarchy began with Samuel's sadness and ended with Jeremiah's tears. The Old Testament broadly can be broken down into the Pentateuch, the 500 years of monarchy, and then the seven books during the Persian Empire. The 500 years of monarchy started with Samuel's sadness, and it ended with Jeremiah's tears. Jeremiah lamented after seeing Jerusalem burned down. Jerusalem looked completely different to how it used to look. Jerusalem used to be a price that people respected, but it had become desolate overnight. Jeremiah's lament came from God's heart. Indeed, if the people had listened to God and had kept his laws, this would not have happened. Second point, Jeremiah's tears and suffering were God's tears and heartache. Jeremiah confessed that South Judah's suffering was due to their past sins. What South Judah was going through right now had been warned by God as far back as Leviticus 26 as the third stage of punishment. God told through Moses how the people would be punished if they did not keep the laws of the kingdom of priests. Now, this had become a reality for South Judah, and all Jeremiah could hear was the wailing of the people. Jeremiah could not help but cry. He had spent most of his life trying to protect and persuade his people. And so, looking at his people suffering and dying made him cry until he felt that his eyes had rolled from inside the socket. His tears were God's tears. Third point, Jeremiah proclaimed that South Judah fell because of God's burning anger. Whilst looking at Jerusalem, which was full of wailing and destruction, Jeremiah confessed that this was due to God's anger against the sins of the people. God's anger burned so much that he had destroyed the place where his presence dwelt. In the Bible, there are a few records of God's anger expressed through fire. First, Sodom and Gomorrah burned down due to God's anger. Second, God judged Aaron's sons, Nadab and Abihu, through fire. Third, God judged idol worship through fire. God judged Achan's sin through fire. Fourth point, Jeremiah claimed that South Judah's fall was led by the words of the false prophet. The fall of South Judah was due to the sins of the people and also the false prophets who delivered lies about God and led the people to rebel against Babylon. Now, South Judah had become a target of mockery to its surrounding countries. There was not one country that felt bad or sad for South Judah. They did not care for God's emphasis on God's forgiveness, sharing between neighbors, and peace between nations, but rather were happy that South Judah fell. Jeremiah accepted that this result was God's decision and repented and also prayed for God's mercy. Plagues fell upon Jerusalem due to the sins of the people 
And so Jeremiah turned and looked to God. The only way now was for the people who were taken as captives to realize their sins and to live as holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. Fifth point, Jeremiah cried until his eyes felt like they were rotting. Seeing the sight of Jerusalem burning down made Jeremiah cry until he felt as though his eyeballs had rotten. He cried and cried when he saw that the temple burned down and the people were being killed. If only they had listened to his warning even once, then this outcome would not have occurred. Jeremiah's endless tears reflected God's heart. When Jeremiah saw that a baby was crying and the mother was producing blood rather than milk, his heart broke, and this was indeed God's heart. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.